Hi! How are you? I'm Denny. Welcome to another one of my English Chinese videos. Mother's Day is almost coming up. Mother's Day in Chinese is Mu Qing Jie. Mu Qing Jie. And I thought in today's video we can talk about Mother's Day. How exciting! But before we do that, I'm a little bit hungry. Hungry in Chinese is Du Zi E. Du Zi E. So I'm about to make a smoothie. Smoothie in Chinese is Bing Sha. Bing Sha. Would you like to join me? Yeah? That's cool! I'm going to be using this very nifty device here called a blender. Blender in Chinese is Jiao Ban Ji. Jiao Ban Ji. Have you seen your mommy or daddy use a blender in the kitchen before? Yeah? It tends to be really, really loud. What a blender does is that it cuts up food into really, really tiny pieces and mixes them up. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be putting in my smoothie is an avocado. Avocado in Chinese is early, early. Mmm, yummy, yummy. And then I'm going to add some yogurt. Yogurt in Chinese is suan nai, suan nai. The next thing I'm going to add into my smoothie is baby spinach. Baby spinach in Chinese is bo chai. Bo chai. Go. And finally, I'm going to add some milk. Milk in Chinese is niu nai. Niu nai. Plug in the blender. <gasps> All right, I'm gonna start blending. Are you ready? It's gonna get really, really loud. So that is an avocado and spinach smoothie. Avocado and spinach smoothie in Chinese is early he bo chai bing sha. Mmm, early he bo chai bing sha. It is so delicious. And what color is it? It is a cool green color. Green in Chinese is lu se, lu se, and it is green from the spinach in it. All right, so let's talk about Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a day that we celebrate all the beautiful mummies in the world. You only have one mummy in the whole wide world. And she loves you unconditionally. So on Mother's Day, you can say thank you to your mummy. You can ask your daddy or a grown-up to help you. You can make her a card. For example, this one that I made earlier on. Isn't it pretty? Card in Chinese is ka pian. Ka pian. And what color is it? It is red and yellow. This is hong shi Just like my outfit. Oh my goodness, what a coincidence. I'm wearing yellow, huang shi, as well as red, hong shi. All right. Do you like the card? I've made the card a little bit fancy. Now, have a good look. Wow, look, it pops up when you open it. And I've also written a nice message here. On the love heart, I've written Happy Mother's Day. Love heart in Chinese is Xin Xin, Xin Xin. And down here, I've written I love you, mummy. In Chinese, that is Mama, wo ai ni. Mama, well, I need. 
You can also buy her a gift. Gift in Chinese is Li Wu. Very popular Mother's Day gifts are perfume, xiang shui, mm, handbags, shou ti bao, even a massage, an mo, or beauty products, mei rong chan pin, jewelry, zhu bao, and even pajamas, shui yi. If you don't want to get her a gift, you can also do something really nice for your mummy. And what could that be? Hmm, hmm, let me think. Hmm, what would mummies love? Ah, oh, I know! You can cook her Mother's Day breakfast. Breakfast in Chinese is jiao chan, jiao chan. And to do that, we have to head back to the kitchen. So, let's go! Lai zoba! Alright, so we're back in the kitchen to prepare Mother's Day breakfast and I have a very simple recipe to share with you. When you cook in the kitchen, make sure a grown-up is with you. So we'll be making French toast with blueberries. French toast in Chinese is Ba Shi Tu Si. Well done! Okay, so we'll need some bread, Mian Bao. Some milk, new Nai. Some blueberries, Lan Mei. And some eggs, ji dan. All right, let's get started. First, you crack a couple of eggs into a bowl. Just like that. And then I like to add some milk to make it a little bit more runny. Oops, haha, <laughs> that was silly. I'm adding milk. Add milk in Chinese is jia niu nai, jia niu nai. All right. Now I'm gonna mix it all up. Now I'll grab some bread. I like to soak the bread in so that it's nice and moist and eggy. And now I'm going to add some blueberries. Since I will Alright, let's get started. And there we go. How many blueberries have I added to each slice of bread? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've got the same number over here, and let's count it in Chinese. E, er, san, si, wu, liu. There we go, well done! Alright, so let's get cooking. I'm going to turn on the fire. Fire in Chinese is huo. Huo. This is especially when you need a grown-up to help you because you don't want to burn yourself. Alright. I also have a pan here in Chinese. Ping di guo. Ping di guo. Going to add some oil and now I'm going to put the French toast in. And after one to two minutes, I flip the bread. Right? <laughs> Alright, I think they're all ready now. I'm gonna put them on this plate. Plate in Chinese is pan zi. Pan zi. Doesn't that look absolutely yummy? I love that the juices of the blueberries have come out onto the bread. Now you can have it on its own or you can add something extra. I personally really like adding maple syrup to my French toast. Maple syrup in Chinese is Feng Tang Jiang, Feng Tang Jiang. And here we go. Whoa! Oh, yummy, yummy. 
French toast is one of my favorite things to have for breakfast. Maybe my daughter will make it for me for Mother's Day, hey? Otherwise, this is the end of today's video. If you want to watch more of my videos, let your mommy and daddy know that you want to watch daddy's videos. And grown-ups, if you want to leave me a comment or feedback, please head to this video over here. I will leave it in the description box below or you can find it in my playlist. But before I go, I want to take this opportunity to wish all the beautiful mothers out there a very, very happy Mother's Day. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye! Zai Bye! 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 Bye!